I think it's also important to reason from first principles rather than by analogy. So the normal way that we conduct our lives is reason by analogy. Um, it's, we're doing this because it's like something else that was done or it's like what um, other people are doing. Because it, it's, it's, it's kind of mentally easier to reason by analogy rather than from first principles. But by first principles is kind of a physics way of looking at the world. And what that really means is you kind of boil things down to the most fundamental truths and, and say, okay, what are we sure is true or, or as sure as possible is true? And then reason up from there. Uh, that takes a lot more mental energy. Somebody could say, um, in fact, people do, uh, that factory packs are really expensive and that's just the way they'll always be because that's the way they've been in the past. Um, you're like, well, no, that's, that's pretty dumb. You know, because if, if, uh, if you apply that reasoning to anything new, that ha then you, you wouldn't be able to, to ever get to that new thing. Like you can't say, oh, you know, horses, nobody wants a car because horses are great and we're used to them and they can eat grass. There's lots of grass all over the place and, you know, there's not like a, there's no gasoline that people can buy. So people are never going never get, never to get cars. Right. Um, but people did say that. Um, and, and for batteries, they would say, oh, it's going to cost $600 um, uh, per kilowatt hour. And so it's not going to be much better than that in the future. And you say, no, okay, well, what, what, are, what are the batteries made of? So, so first principles would be to say, okay, what are the material constituents of the batteries? What is the spot market value of the material constituents? So you can say, okay, it's got cobalt, nickel, aluminum, carbon, um, and some polymers for separation and a seal can. So break that down in, or on a material basis and say, okay, what if we bought that on the London Metal Exchange, what would each of those things cost? It's like, oh, geez, uh, it's like $80 uh, 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 per kilowatt hour. So clearly, you just need to think of clever ways to take those materials and combine them into the shape of a battery cell, and you can have batteries that are much, much cheaper than anyone realizes.